What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will add the equipment menu icons. Yes, finally, we will make this a bit prettier. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is import the icons, right? So let's go into our UI folder and we have a you know option for icons and we have a few icons here. But because it's only gonna be unique to this specific equipment menu, what we can do instead is go to the equipment uh, you know system folder and in this UI just right click create a new folder and call this icons and now store them in here so you know it will have them a bit more separate from the main icons of the game all right so i will leave some links in the description they were totally free just download them or pngs select all of them drag them into the content browser to this folder that we just created as you can see they're you know pretty cool basically you know transparent icons nothing crazy okay and uh, yeah basically for so we have one for the light sword one for the uh, wooden bow one for the wooden shield and one for the bronze armor okay so um these are the current items that we have introduced into our series and of course if you have more or in the future we'll introduce more you need to find your own icons but you can do uh, so in that website that i also linked in the description where i got these anyway so the first thing that we're going to do is you know introduce uh the items to this icons right because right now if i pick for example you know two items here and you know pressing enter open my equipment menu this is how it has been for a long time and i open you know uh, like a selected category you can see we have light sword just you know this ugly <laughs> icon what is this a shield that's not even a shield uh, so let's just change that real quick so all of these will be in the equipment system folder and we have our database db weapons and the cool thing because we you know we created with this database and modular is that we can just go into each item for example the light sword just go to the icon and just update the icon to be the light sword and that's so cool you can do it so quickly and you know do things now we also have a heavy sword <laughs> i actually just realized so in this case what it will do is just uh you know select the light sword okay and that's it there's not gonna be a big problem with that uh so you know you just go ahead and, and find your own heavy sword uh icon okay in my case i'm gonna <laughs> leave this one for now uh for the wooden bow let's go ahead and just find the wooden bow and then for the wooden shield this will be the wooden shield right and then bronze armor well bronze if i don't have to type armor cool so now yes if i go and press play and pick all of these items that i currently have on here and open this up boom light sword much better shield much better range for the bow much better bronze armor just you know way better so that's cool that's already an improvement now there's you know proper icons so the next thing that we're going to do is change the border of this kind of slots now in this case as you can see we imported this really nice kind of circular border so if we go to the ui folder and we open up the uh wb equipment menu you will notice that when we built this menu we made our slots other widgets so the only thing that we need to do is open up the wb equipable slot widget which is basically this one so let's open this up go and select the button which is kind of the gonna be the outline and for the normal style we're gonna go and plug this in so we can just press ctrl space right and find the equipment system ui icons and drag this into here and there we go now it is there now of course by default the other ones will still be you know blank we'll sort it out in a second but now you know it's uh, it's there uh, now when i also hover this it goes to you know per uh, white we're gonna go ahead and just drag this on the hovered and just make this a bit like uh you know we're gonna make it darker or even more brighter i think that making it brighter will be a bit better so we can darken the original out right the normal one and put this one uh, kind of brighter and then for a pressed we are going to make it the brightest of all with that said now when we hover over the thing you can see it highlights right it doesn't go white now we only have one thing which is you know this uh, button here which is empty right 
there's no um let's say image associated with this you know icon so you know what could we do well there are a few things that we could do um from my knowledge i believe that there's not any option to say if there's you know not any um image selected it just not showcases okay it will always showcase um, but we have a few things here, right? Uh, when we click it, we go ahead and you know, make it visible, uh, you know, and all the stuff, open the items list and things like that. And also on here in the graph for the equipment system, we have everything when we assign a slot item, right? And open the list. In this case, we are here setting the brush, right? Of this image. So. In here, it should be as simple as just before uh, doing all of this, right? When we set the brush of this uh, slot, it's just to also get the icon, right? Um, sorry, not the icon, but the icon here from the slot and set the visibility to be visible, right? And why? Well, that's because we are gonna make it by default, okay? In the icon for its visibility to be basically hidden and in theory this should work so if i press play boom we do not see them anymore but if i go ahead and select it uh well i need to pick up an item of course let me just uh, pick whatever item i want right uh and i think there will be an issue with this but let's try it out so if i select one you can see that now it enables but if i close and open up again oh yeah no no, no. okay that works okay I thought that we deleted the whole equipment system, but now we actually made it so it will continue. So that is great. As you can see, the you know um, now the icons will go ahead and stay. <laughs> Look how cool the character looks with everything on. Um, and yeah, now we have cool icons, right? We have for each item, we have for the borders. So you know it is looking way cooler, way nicer, and yes, overall better. Now, uh, let's also just go ahead and quickly, you know, make the uh, center character a bit bigger. It's currently a bit kind of, you know, yeah, just um, mm, small, right? So if we go to the main WB equipment, you can see that we have here the image. And I remember that we specifically kind of made, you know, this a certain size for his, <laughs> for being better. But, um, you know, I, th I mean, we could make it bigger, right? Like, I don't know, like we can... Make this uh, 600 and then 800, right? We can make it bigger like that. Uh, another thing that we could do is just kind of make the, the character a bit more zoomed in. So if we go to the, what is it? Third person character blueprint, right? We in here have our really cool uh, scene capture component with the spring arm. Well, we can make it from 170 to maybe 120. Now it is, you know, closer. <laughs> so let's see how that looks. Okay, that, <laughs> that's way too close. Okay, so maybe 150, something like that, because we also made the image bigger in the uh, widget. So, okay, that's better. And a thing that I want to play around is the field of view. Let's put this something at 60 and actually turn it back to around 200. So now the field of view will be like closer and it will look, yeah, be not, uh, way nicer. Uh, see if I make it uh, closer. So go back here. So I'm playing around with the field of view with that close arbiter, you know? So let's put like 50 and put this to be around 230, right? Of distance. So the, the more that we zoom in with the field of view, the more we need to, you know, pull the camera out. I think that this looks way better. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe a tiny bit smaller on the UI. So I'm gonna go and put this on 550 and 750. But that is a huge improvement, I believe. Oh yes, that is way, way better. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like this all way better. Um, another thing I want to do is just get the categories, all right? The text and just uh, make the size a bit bigger, right? I don't know, not maybe, maybe like 45 or just 42, something like that. I think 42 will be better, but yeah, just make it a bit bigger right <laughs> it was like pretty small before now it is way nicer as you can see you can play around with the uh you know how, how do we say the uh the viewport aspect ratio and so on so check everything and yeah this looks way better it's also i don't know how much of a fuzz will 
this will be but it will be cool to make this um all right yes no it's gonna be a a tough thing to do i was gonna make them bigger but they're with very cool slots and so on so honestly i think it's gonna be better to not touch this uh, right like kind of leave it i mean we can make it bigger on here then maybe uh, it was 125 let's make it 200 okay let's see yeah that that messed things up because we have uh, the vertical box with uh on here with us fill and so on so let's try to leave this where it was right and yeah uh, it, it will work like that okay so we also have that equipment text at the top that is pretty cool i think that this looks already 10 times better and let's do one little thing which is going to be you know kind of um how do i say it? get rid of that outline that is currently there so in theory that should not be on this you know widget or whatsoever it should be in the uh, slot itself now i don't know if that's due to the size box or um to the button okay so let me throw one thing in the size box there's this thing called the render opacity so let's make yeah i think i mean if i make that I definitely will not see anything yeah we're gonna touch it okay anyway but the thing is that in here there's not really any uh, how do we say outline or border option the only thing that we have in here on the button is yes this outline thing so let's put this at normal to be a zero i see that now removes that yes that's it and now when we hover we can also kind of see this uh you know kind of yeah basically outline which looks pretty cool uh and you know we can change the corner right there or the this like maybe we can put it not to be so uh transparent right we can maybe put it like to be 0.7 and then when we select it yes to be a bit higher right so it's really also playing around with that yes and i was like you know no no so not suppose but it's kind of there looking a bit better so i think that those pretty cool and you know that's definitely a huge improvement of what we had at the beginning so that's it guys i found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel i have lots of unreal into five videos hand to toe so check them out remember i have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members so link in the description join my discord server to talk with me and to other devs uh, check out my new course with game dev tv and how to make a stealth game in unreal follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye